So far, we've done two type of skin tutorial. One was arcane style and another one was layered based painting. If you're interested in any of those, link in the top right corner. But in this one, we're gonna do the stylized Disney style. If you look at some of these Disney characters faces, you see it's not really that complicated. It's basically a skin tone, a red pink hint on the cheeks and nose, a light red color for the lips and maybe some freckles all over the nose and cheeks. But it's just the base. Of course, it's not gonna be the same for every character. We got different races, skin tones and obviously different cultures result into different style of makeup and all that good stuff. When you learn about the basics and how to actually paint all of these, you should be able to achieve the look that you have in mind. As always, if you want to download the practice files and real-time videos, you can find it on my Gumroad and Patreon page. It also supports the channel and help me continue making these videos. Link in the description. Okay, first thing first, search up a skin tone. Find the skin tone that you think suits your characters best. If you want mine, I put the link in the description. This one separated the tones by cool, neutral, and warm. We're gonna use this image as our palette. In Blender, open up your model. Also tell me in the comments if you want a tutorial of how I sculpt this character. Hover your mouse on the top left corner and drag out a new window and put it on shader editor. Click on new, name it the skin, shift A and add an image texture. Click on new, I put 4K for the resolution, you do whatever you want and click on OK. Connect it to the base color. Now hover your mouse to the bottom left and drag up to bring out another window. This time put it on image editor. Click on image and open the skin tone image that we downloaded. Go to texture paint tab. In the modified properties, if you're using multi res, turn it down to a low number to avoid any lag during the painting. We lost the image because we switched to the texture paint mode. So just click on the image icon and select the skin tone image again. Go to view and disable this display texture paint UVs so we only see the image and nothing else. If you don't see the tools on the left side, simply drag them out like this and select fill. Hover your mouse on the left color and press E. Now you can pick up any color you see on your screen. Go ahead and click on the skin tone of your choice. While the strength is on one, click on the character so we fill out the whole model with the skin tone. Choose the draw brush and again while your mouse is on the color, press E and pick up a color. Now you can increase the window size. Hold Z and go to material preview. You. Click on the color and choose something a bit warmer. I'm gonna put just a bit on top of the eyes. Now choosing something closer to pink or reddish color, I decrease the strength to a low number like 0.1 and I start putting a hint of that color on the cheeks. Do the same thing to the nose. Don't worry about the transition of the colors, we can smooth things out later. So we have a smooth looking transition between the skin tone and the red hint. Maybe put some on the ears and the whole body, but mostly on the folded and less exposed parts. For the lips, I start putting a red color slowly. I want it to be dark, so I increase the strength and fully covered it with the dark red color. But you do yours in whatever color you want. Drag out the left windows back so we can see our image. Click on the image icon and select the image that we were just painting on. Go to image and save so you don't lose your progress if something happens. After you have done the whole body, pick up the smear brush and try to smooth out any harsh transition. Again, make sure you set your multi res to the lowest number possible since the smear brush is extremely heavy and might even freeze the blender. Using a smear brush, you can shake the mouse while clicking to mix up the colors and smooth out the area. You can also use soften brush as well. It's time for the makeup. Choose the draw brush again. I make the eyes a bit darker and by picking a black color brush, I start putting eyeliner on top and bottom eyelid. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, makeup is not always typical eyeliner and shadows. It depends on the culture and the personality of your character. So your hands are free.
Another thing I've seen people do is to paint some fake shadows for the spots like nostrils where you don't actually see the inside but want it to have more contrast. Drag back the left window again so we can see our shaders, name the image we just painted skin. If you're happy at this point, you can mess around with the specular and roughness, maybe give a red color to the subsurface color, then increase the subsurface number. But these are too basic. We're gonna go deeper in this one to make the shader better. For now, I'm just gonna add some freckles, just like most of the Disney characters, but not gonna paint it over our main skin image. Instead, we're gonna use another image texture for the freckles, so we can edit or remove it at any time we want. If you wanna paint it on your main skin image, skip this part. In the shading tab, shift A and add image texture. Click on new and give it a resolution you want. Click on the color and decrease the A to zero. We have transparent image. Then press OK. Shift A again and add mix RGB. Drop it between the skin image and base color. Connect the freckles to the color too and connect the alpha to factor. Go to texture properties and click on new. Now we need the transparent freckles. Since most of these PNG websites are annoying and only lets you use their image for personal projects, I made my own freckles in Photoshop and I put the link in the description. Do whatever you want with it, I don't care. Okay, open the PNG. Make sure you're selecting the freckles image texture in this process. Press N to bring up the right menu and click on tool. Go to texture paint mode. Now you have all these features on the right side. Scroll down and find texture. Put the mapping on stencil. You should have the image on the screen. Hold right click to move it around. Lower the strength. Choose a color for your freckles. I choose red. You can rotate the image by holding ctrl right click and scale it up or down by holding shift right click. While X mirror is on, place it where you want the freckles and start drawing on it. Freckles might appear on the whole face, but they're mostly visible on the cheeks and nose, so take care of that. When you think it's good enough, increase the Maltrez viewport number so we can see our model in the full detail to check everything is okay. Now I'm gonna make a specular map, but if you wanna improve the reflection and have more control to specular, you can do this. In the shader tab, shift A and add image texture. Click on new, name it the specular and increase the resolution. Click on the color, keep it black and make sure A is on one, then press OK. To see the image in the bottom window, click on the image icon and select a specular. Now connect the specular to base color for now so we can see what we're doing. This is temporary, we're gonna unplug it later. Now make sure you're selecting the specular image, then switch to texture paint mode. Choose a white color and lower the strength. Also don't forget to lower the multi-res again to avoid the lags while painting. Pick up a big brush and start putting some highlights, mostly on the exposed parts like cheeks, nose, around the eyes, lips, etc. Make sure you keep the transition as smooth as possible, cause sharp transitions are highly noticeable in reflections. Also don't forget to put some on the ears. When you took care of the head, make sure you're done the same to the rest of the body. Again, highlight the most exposed parts, like the chest and bony parts. When you think it's enough, in the bottom left window, put it on image editor and switch to paint mode. Select the soften or a smear brush again and start smoothing out these harsh edges. Remember, the smear brush stretches the paint, so if you want to use it for a smoothing, just need to wiggle the mouse in that area so the colors get combined.
<laughs> okay, it's time to connect back our mix RGB to the base color so we can get the skin back. Now connect the specular image to a specular. Also don't forget to increase the multi-res number so we can see the details. If you are still not happy with the intensity of the reflections, shift A and add bright contrast node and drop it between the specular image and the shader. Now you can increase or decrease the brightness and contrast to see what works best. For the roughness map, you can go the same way as a specular and paint it by hand. But remember in roughness, black parts are shinier and white parts are duller so it's kinda reversed. I'm not gonna paint it right now so I just shift A and add an invert node. Connect the specular map to invert and invert to roughness. It's too shiny on some parts so I just mess around with the invert value to get better results. I think it's decent but since we don't have any skin pores and details on the skin it looks kinda plasticky. If you have sculpted the pores and details before or you're going for a clean stylized look, skip this part. Shift A and add noise texture. Connect the factor to the factor of the mix RGB. Now hold Ctrl Shift and click on the noise texture so we can see it on our model. Put a higher number on the scale so we have more noise on the skin. Now Ctrl Shift again and click on the principal shader. Make the color too darker to get some contrast. Now you should see the noise in the reflections. You can duplicate the mix RGB and drop it between the invert and roughness. Then connect the noise to the factor again so we got the noise on the roughness as well. Now make the color too brighter because as I said in the roughness, darker means shiny. Now we're gonna make a translucency map for the subsurface scattering to have that nice redness on the ears and other parts. Shift A and add ambient occlusion. Hold Ctrl Shift and click two times on the ambient occlusion to see the ambient on our model. While the model is selected, press Shift H to hide everything else. In the render properties, switch to cycles because we're gonna bake some stuff. Turn on both of these. Mess around with the distance number until you got some dark spots on the lips, ears and nose. Shift A and add image texture. Click on new and name it translucency. Resolution is not really that important here. So press ok. Now select both the object and the translucency image. It's really important. In the render properties find bake. Put the bake type on emit. Then click on bake. This might take a while. So chill. Now when you select the translucency in the image editor you should see something like this. Don't forget to go to image and save it somewhere because if you close the blender it will be gone. Now we don't need the ambient occlusion no more so get rid of it. Shift A and add mix RGB and drop it between the old mix RGB and base color. Then connect the translucency to the factor. Go back to Eevee if you want then change the color to red. Shift A and add invert and drop it between the image and mix RGB. Now you should see a really angry red face. To fix that add a color ramp. Drop it between the invert and color ramp. Now grab the black handle and drag it to the right. Then select the white handle, click on the color and make it a bit darker so we have less redness. Wiggle the handles around until you have just a bit of red on these areas. I sculpted some details on the lips so it's not flat and this is our shader at the end. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, like and sub would really help the channel grow. And also you can find the practice files and real time videos on my Gumroad and Patreon page. Link in the description. See you in the next one. Peace.